There's my fire. Burning some cardboard boxes that a bunch of Christmas stuff came in. So, got that going. Kind of cleaning up here. Coming over here to get a pulley uh, so we can measure it to go on uh, the Dixon Zero tank. Back over on the house side. Okay. Nice view of the fire. Stupid view of the cat. Hey, Edward. That's Edward. Anyway, I was going to show you what finally got in the mail, ordered in about two weeks ago. These uh, ordered some new grinders. Um, I usually keep uh, two grinders. I always keep one that has a cutting deal, uh, cutting wheel on it, and then I use one that has a, an abrasive disc or a grinding disc on it. Uh, it's just easier than having to switch back and forth. And I also like to keep one with a grinding disc uh, on my welding cart. But I had broken every stinking grinder that I had. And so I bought these from uh, Harbor Freight. $10, 11,000 RPMs, comes with some extra brushes, uh, and got a warranty with it. Can't freaking beat it. I know some of y'all don't like Harbor Freight. I've had good luck with them. So got these one's going to be for the cutting one is going to be uh, for grinding and then I'm going to get another one and put a grinding disc on it and put it on my welding cart <clears throat> and that will take care of that over here that Dixon's up on its side and uh, that's from where I had uh, done the rust treatment underneath it and we're going to do a couple of things to it. Now that I've got my grinders back, um, we can kind of proceed a little bit with a bill. More to come. Finished doing uh, the work with a chop saw and uh, going to give some shout outs to some people. Before I do that, I want to give a really good big shout out to a buddy of mine. He's that one that actually gave me the chop saw. Uh, didn't start using it until about six or eight months ago. Uh, Frank, Frank Byer. Man, I really appreciate it. That chop saw is going to come in handy and uh, you're going to see why in a minute. We're going to spin you around we'll here and uh, take a look at these guys that have subscribed to the channel. Shop Play, S H O P P L A Y. Thanks for subscribing, man. Fancy book learning. Thanks for adding me on Google Plus, man. I appreciate it. Tim Hunter, thanks for subscribing. Triple X Mower Dude, Triple X on the Google Plus. Thanks, man. Colton Hare. Thanks, guy. Murray Mayhem. Yes, there is another one. Um, and it's not spam, so he's okay. On Google Plus. Murray Mayhem, all one word. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for adding me on to the Google Plus there, man. And again, Frank, thanks for the chop saw. It's really going to come in handy. And back up here, as always, guys, SulfurCityDesigns.com for all of your mower, mudding, and modding apparel needs. How about that? And stickage. We got stickage. New sticker of the Murray Gator is coming out. You gotta go take a look. Southern Offer Mowers on Facebook, go to it and post some junk. Or not. Or not. More to come. But don't forget about the ATLTF. Go to them. Uh, they are a wicked little forum. That's not so little now. And uh, any kind of questions you have about modding a uh, racing mower, pulling tractors, stuff like that. Um, mudding mowers um, you can go on the forum and uh, start up a thread with some people or following an existing thread and you can get some really good information off of it. Okay guys now we're back and I've got the six inch pulley uh, that I was talking about and this is one that I got out of my box of pulleys six inches 
going to be the one we're going to use. I'm going to put a keyway on it. Got to measure it and get the height of the pulleys correct. But that's not really it. You can kind of see it. Let me. This is the mock up of one of the uh, tracks. Been kind of working with it and fiddling with it. And you know me, I always try to do it on the cheap, and everybody keeps saying, well, just get some uh, snowmobile tracks. And uh, guys, I'm in Alabama, and uh, snowmobiles are as common in Alabama as um, orthopedic stripper poles. I mean, you just don't see them. So I have no idea what a snowmobile uh, track looks like. I've seen them. I've seen pictures, but I have no idea without... I got to put my hands on it. So this is what I have come up with. This is a four inch uh, piece of uh, rubber and it is one inch thick, four inches wide. You might be able to see that. One inch thick, almost one inch thick. And this is what I'm going to use. Let me back us out for the treads. I have enough track or I have enough rubber to make three. Two and a spare. And I have no idea what this is, uh, what it's for, but what I am looking to do, uh, I'll show you. Let me pause okay. it and I'll reposition Here we go. These are some small pieces of angle iron. Uh, it's actually some kind of thin gauge. What I'm going to do, actually you can kind of see, there's a hole drilled already here. I'm drill another hole through it. Place it right here. Stainless bolt, stainless washers, and a lock nut on the inside here. And it's going to stick out and it's going to allow uh, this tire to have some grip and make this thing move a little bit so the uh, uh, the nut and the end of the bolt are going to protrude just a little bit enough to grab on uh, the treads and we're also going to extend the spindles out a little bit this is something I've just been kind of throwing around and you guys may have an easier way to do it and if you do mention it and, and I'll try to work it in uh, because this is something I have never done before and the only tracked vehicles I have ever seen in my life are uh, dozers and bobcats so <clears throat> that is what I'm looking at doing and probably placing them every four inches so that would be some easy math even I can do that that's four inches that's four inches so I'm looking at doing it something like that oh camera slid but to catch it uh, and pull it backwards without putting too much pressure on it I'm thinking of flipping every other one around and doing them like that let me back us up a little bit there you go get us from a couple of different angles that's about it for me. Okay, I'm like getting it. ready to uh, go in the house. I think it's dinner time and uh, warm up because you can see your breath out here still, even with the heater going. Y'all gonna make some mayhem. Mm -hmm.